What is going on guys? Today we are going to be going over how to calculate a stock's expected return. There are a few different ways to calculate this, but one of my favorite methods is to use the capital asset pricing model. And over here you can see that I already have the formula for the capital asset pricing model listed, and it looks complicated but it's actually very simple, and I'm going to take you step by step on how to use it. And like I said, this formula is used to find a stock's expected return, so let's go ahead and pick a stock to calculate the expected return for. And for this example, let's say we want to calculate the expected return of the Coca-Cola company. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Yahoo Finance and find the Coca-Cola company, and you can see I already have them pulled up here. Their stock ticker is KO, so I'm just going to jump back over to my spreadsheet and list that here. And if we look at our formula, this is our expected return on investment, which is what we're trying to solve for. The next variable we have is our risk free rate. And the risk free rate represents the interest an investor would expect from an absolutely risk free investment over a specified period of time. So people, depending on what kind of calculation you're trying to make, they will use different things for the risk free rate. But for this scenario, I'm actually going to use Coca-Cola's dividend yield. And the reason for that is it's a very, very safe dividend payout that they have. They've been increasing it for decades and it even survived the pandemic. So let's jump over to Yahoo Finance and let's see if we can find their dividend yield. And it looks like right here their current dividend yield is 2.89%. So let's go ahead and plug that into our spreadsheet. Here you can see we have risk free. So let's go ahead and just list 2.89. And now that we have that, let's look at the next variable. We can see the next variable we need is the beta of the investment. So let's go ahead and jump over to Yahoo Finance and see if we can find where the beta is listed. And you can see we have it listed right here. It's currently 0.69. So let's go ahead and plug that into our spreadsheet as well. And the last thing that we need is our market risk premium. And this is actually just going to be the expected return on the market minus our risk free rate. So this could actually be whatever you think it's going to be. So on average, let's say it's about a 9% return on the market. So we're going to take 9% minus our risk free rate, which is currently 2.89. So I'm just going to make this equal to nine and then subtract it by our risk free rate and hit enter. And now we have all the variables that we need in order to calculate the expected return on our investment. So let's go ahead and plug these variables into our formula and we'll come up here to do that. And I'm going to start it with an equal sign and you can see the first thing we need is our risk free rate. So I'm just going to come down here and click on that here. And let's go ahead and add our addition sign right here. And now we need to multiply the beta multiplied by our market risk premium. So I'm going to open up a parentheses. We'll come over here and select the beta and we want to multiply that by our market risk premium. We'll close off the parentheses and we will hit enter. And once we have done that, you can see we have now calculated the expected return for the Coca-Cola company based on our assumptions. We can expect to make a 7.1% return on our investment. So that is how you use the capital asset pricing model to find a stock's expected return. If you have any questions, then be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.